What's good, YouTube? This is your pastor, Lionel. I am back with another video. Today, I want to talk to all my chosen ones, all my light workers, all my star seeds. If you are watching this, please tune in. Basically, what's going on is I want to talk to y'all about like this new season that we in. We all know that we are living in this new season where like we're exercising our powers, we're exercising our voice, we're exercising our abilities, you know what I'm saying? Artistic, athletic, political, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like we're just being our free selves because we don't have anybody around us telling us that we're not chosen, that we need to do what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? We need to go get a job. We need to go to school and try to learn all this shit just to be someone's slave. Like, because we're not doing what the matrix is telling us to do because we're being free thinkers, right? And becoming entrepreneurs and building kingdoms, okay? We are in a new season. Like, we feel it. Like, we are in this new season because things are actually coming to fruition. Like, we actually see things finally like coming to life. Like I know a lot of y'all are meeting people that y'all never thought y'all was going to meet. Y'all hanging around like a certain class of people that you never thought you even be around these type of people because the people that you grew up with. God is literally pushing you towards opportunities and like bringing people to you because of the work that you've done. And we're going to get to that in this message. We're going to talk about that. But what does it mean that is your season? All that means is that the light is on you. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you the light, but now God is shining a certain type of light, a special light, a mature light. You have to reach a mature stage for God to give you this light because God has hid us in the dark for a long time. God was hiding us while he was developing certain things and trying to move certain parts that need to be moved just for us, okay? Now God is bringing us to the forefront. Now God is bringing us to the audience, which is all the people of earth who need guidance, you know what I'm saying, who need enlightenment. God is about to bring us to them because we are the light and now he's shining his light on us. That's basically all this season means. It does not mean that your life is going to be easier necessarily. Us as a chosen one, we have to expect our life to be hard. Even when things are easier, it's still a pro and a con or something. So like, so yeah, you might have got like up far as your financial situation or whatever. But guess what? You have to keep up your new financial status. You have to keep that up. So what that means is you have to work harder now. You have to really pay attention to your business. You have to pay attention to the people around you. You know what I'm saying? The people that's trying to take your business. You got to pay your taxes. Like it's stuff like this. Like it's new levels, new devils. So like when you reach this new status, you have to know that you have responsibility. It means more responsibility, more things to look after. But God has literally built you to a point where you can handle all this. Like God's not going to give you anything that you can't handle. I know y'all heard that in church before. So if that's the case, then show God that you can handle this season because he's going to bless you with more. But you have to show that you can handle, you know, the current season that you're in and the current level that you're at. Now, look, chosen one, if you are under 40 years old, right, if you are under 40, if you 35, 28 like me, you know what I'm saying? If you 18, 19, if you definitely if you in fucking high school or you in middle school watching this shit, yo, you need to be relentless with your creativity, like literally coming up with ideas and bringing it to earth, bringing it to reality. This is the time to be doing it like the, the younger you are, the better and just go full fledged, go relentless in this season. The whole point of this season, you look, everybody think, yo, I'm going to get on. I'm going to finally, you know what I'm saying, live my best life. I'm going to kick it and, you know, kick my feet up and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just signed the deal. I got an advance check. Yeah, like life is good. Like, you know, that's how most people think when they get a come up. Chosen ones, yo, you got to be smart. When you get this come up, that means more work, more grind. Like me, I'm a music artist. So if I get signed to a label... That means I have to grind harder than I did before I got signed just to show them that I'm giving them their money's worth. Yeah. And we're going to flip that shit. Right. Because I want a better deal. So, yeah, the younger you are, you have to be relentless. I had so many people tell me like, man, I should have did this when I was younger. You know, I wish I had somebody tell me this when I was younger. Like, OK, when people tell you that, that's God actually talking to you through them. Like they're trying to tell you to avoid a mistake. Listen to them. You need to be going hard as fuck during your youth because that's what it's for. It's meant for you to be a warrior so you can live like a king later. Y'all, we are kings and queens under Christ and under God. You know what I'm saying? That's why we were born. That's why we're chosen ones and light workers and we have these spiritual anointings because we're literally 
by God's truth, right? We have to be true. We can't be fake. We can't talk about all this grind in our music or, you know, all this grind that, you know, a lot of people like to fake, like, like they need like these big hustlers on social media. Like they, they try to act like they know all about crypto and all about stocks and all this type of stuff, like pretending to be real smart, you know what I'm saying? But really they're not, they, they don't have that much of a work ethic, right? Okay. This is a time for you to show your work ethic, show that you are consistent. You are always working. When I was in the Navy, uh, an officer told me this, like, because we was talking about a, a sailor, a, a mentor sailor, actually, of mine. And he was just saying, like, man, I miss that dude, man, because he went to another ship. He's like, yeah, I miss that dude, man. He was always working, man. Yo, I'm going to tell you something. You can't say nothing to a man that's always working. I remember he told me that. Like, I, I was in the kitchen cooking eggs for him, and he told me that. He was like, you can't say nothing to a man that's always working. And I don't know why that stuck to me so hard, but it really did. I Like, I'm never going to forget that shit. Because you can't say nothing to a man that's always working. Like, what you going to tell him? He's being productive. You know what I'm saying? He's doing something productive in society. Like, when I make these videos, I know I'm giving society something. It makes me feel good because I know I'm giving motivation. I'm giving inspiration to a young chosen one. You know what I'm saying? Someone who needs to hear a, uh, an uplifting word for the day or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know people are going through hard shit in life. Like, I, I know people are dealing with financial issues and they, and they just need to hear this. So I'm doing my part. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing my work ethic every time I decide to get up and do a video. And, yo, I got three other grinds that, I, that I'm doing. Like, yo, I worked all day today. Literally all day today. Like, this to me right now is just some extra shit that I'm doing. Right? But it's because I care about the children of God. I want to be a part of this circle and this culture. I love God. I love people that love Christ and acknowledge Christ because this is the community that I feel is my family. And I, this is why I show up because I know that this is my season. I know that I'm not going to let the devil steal my season because I know that people are talking shit about me. So I'm going to make sure I drop these videos so people know like, nah, man, that shit that they saying about Lionel ain't true. I seen he dropped a video yesterday. He all right, man. Like, Lionel doing good. He ain't crazy. Y'all making up shit about that, man. Like, that's why I drop these videos. So motherfuckers know that I ain't bullshitting. There's so many people that try to demonize the chosen ones. That's the world we live in now. Like, what's good is bad, and what's bad is good. You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to make us look bad. So, of course, I'm going to show up all the fucking time on YouTube and drop these videos. Because I know it's my season. I know it's our season. But I also know that some chosen ones, you know what I'm saying, right now at this time might not be as driven as me because I'm in my full element as a chosen one. Like when I say this is my season, like this is my season season, like for real, for real. So I know for a fact that if there's a chosen one that hasn't woken up yet, I have the potential to wake that one up, at least for a moment, for them to keep moving forward or to let a certain situation go or whatever they need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want to be that. That that voice in their ear that God is speaking through. I'm just a vessel for God to speak through to come to y'all. And I'm letting y'all know right now, this is your season. But this is not your season to kick your feet up and, you know, saying live like a king and queen. Like we already kings and queens. But right now, this is warrior season. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like God's going to give us times to rest and all that. But if you are young, yo, just wait till you older to kick your feet up. Wait till you like 40 when you really deserve it. You can really kick it like Jay-Z. You can really kick it like these big bosses, like, like these billionaires and all that type of shit. Like you can kick your feet up later. Right now it's war mode. Okay. We are in war. This is spiritual warfare. Go hard as fuck right now. Like yo, be relentless as fuck. Let me tell you something. There's going to be a lot of people trying to come to you in this season. All right. Last season, you didn't exist. Last season, they showed you their ass and they wanted you to kiss it. And if you did try to kiss it, they was going to move their ass and make you chase their ass some more to try to kiss it some more. Like that's how bad they was treating you last season. This season is the total opposite. This is what I want y'all to do. When these people try to come to y'all field and, you know what I'm saying, they see all the, the crops and the, you know, the animals and like, all, just, you know, you got your whole farm together. You really been stocking up. You rich over here and everybody else going through famine. They, you know what I'm saying? They hungry. They just, they just need something to eat, right? You know what I'm saying? They just need something to eat. They're going to be looking at you. Now, if these the same motherfuckers that fucked you over and turned they back to you, oh man, this is what you do. You walk up to them, you pull your pants down, Right. Pull your pants down and you tell them to kiss your ass. 
a, a good old smooch. Because that's what they deserve in this season is your fucking ass. And them kissing it. I feel the Holy Spirit. God is telling me to tell you when it comes to these haters, when it, when it comes to a narcissistic ex, when it comes to these bullies or, or, or attempted bullies that you had in your past, like all these boogeymans, you know what I'm saying? All these demons that literally went into other people, you know what I'm saying? The devil uses people and sends his demons, right? So all these demonic people that try to, you know, boogeyman you out of your destiny, Yo, make them kiss your ass in this season. This is kiss my ass season. This is kiss the chosen one's ass season. They not working hard like you. Keep working hard. This is the season for you to work more. This is the season for you to exercise. Like how much responsibility can I take on for myself that's meant for me? Not from other people. Like responsibility that's from God and, you know, for God's kingdom. Like this is the time for you to try to exercise your work with God more because he's this is your season. So he's giving you everything you need to work with him. You know what I'm saying? Like you at the business table with God now. You at the business table with God now. You know what I'm saying? God is counting up bread. Think of it like this. God counting up bread. He passed you up something like that. Count some of that. Like you at the table now. You at the big boss table, nigga. You at the big boss table. It's your fucking season. And all these motherfuckers. Yo, that, that hated on you, it they gonna kiss your motherfucking ass. Yo, you you at the big boss table with God. This literally mean that, like, look, when we go to heaven, when our time is done, you know what I'm saying, on earth and we in heaven, that mean we got the keys to hell to see our haters suffer. Like, ain't that cool? Like, like yo, we're gonna have our own amusement park. We're gonna go, we're gonna be able to go to the hell amusement park. When we in heaven, we're like, hey, y'all, y'all wanna go to hell real quick? You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be we're gonna get on the roller coaster. Right? And y'all, we're going to be just rolling all through hell. Just, ah, ah, oh, that's my hater over there burning. We're going to make fun of all these motherfuckers in hell that tried to play us. Like, y'all, when I go visit hell, I promise you, like, I'm going to be laughing at everybody that did me wrong. Like, I know when I see my narcissistic ex in hell, right? Because I'm going to visit. Christ literally went to hell and grabbed the keys. That means we got the keys to hell, y'all. This is an amusement park for us. We're going to be able to go there and see our enemies get tortured for forever, for eternity. And I can't wait to see my fucking narcissistic ex burn for eternity. It's, it's literally going to be like fucking Disneyland, like Disney World. It's going to be fun, right? Because we're not destined to stay there, right? We're just visiting just to see our enemies be tortured because like that's true heaven. Like, Seeing the people that tried to fuck you over end up getting fucked over. Like, God damn it, that shit feel good. Because that's God making sure that life makes sense. That's God balancing life, right? Because remember you thought that life was unfair and everybody was fucking you over? Well, in the end, right, because we're going to get the last laugh, we get to see all our enemies burn in fucking hell. Make they ass freeze outside during the season. This is your season. You control the weather. You make they ass freeze outside this season. They don't deserve shit from you. And that's coming from Lionel, the chosen one. We think further. Them motherfuckers don't deserve shit. They don't deserve your forgiveness. If they ask you for your forgiveness, I told you. What you do is you pull your pants down and you make them kiss your ass. God is with us. God is with us like... Yo, I feel it every damn day when it comes to like the narcissists and like these haters and stuff. Yo, my anxiety with them is at ease because I know that God is literally going to crush them. I've been trusting in God. I just know that God is going to crush them. There's nothing for me to try to focus on with them because they ain't going to do shit. God is going to destroy their ass because first off, chosen one, you have to exercise no contact. When you exercise no contact, you're giving God something to work with because now there's a wall between you and these narcissistic people, right? That means everything on the other side of that wall doesn't affect you because you put this wall up. You're not talking to them. You're not giving them no attention, right? Yo, they are going to die without you. You're the chosen one. They're going to die without you. They're going to live a miserable life without you because you're a light. That means you lit people's world up and they didn't even know it. They took you for granted, but... Yo, this is your season. So now that it's your season, right, and the caterpillar is getting out of the cocoon and it's no longer a caterpillar, you're a butterfly. Of course, people are going to want to be a part of that season and want to fly with you, but they can't fly with you. They still in caterpillar mode. They, they, <laughs> oh man, they trying to get ahead of the game, y'all. <laughs>
Anyway, man, I love y'all, man. Stay blessed. Peace. Lost my heart in the sea, yeah, I'm singing. Moving hard, nothing sweet. Hey. Black gems on my feet. Hey. Coming up out the streets. Mm. From the bus to a Jeep. Mm. My dogs hungry, gotta eat. Jungle. We the champs, no defeat. Muscle. Feeling blessed in the mess. Yeah. Niggas staring, looking stressed. Fuck em. I can't stop, no. I can't stop, no. I can't stop. No. To the top, uh. to the top, uh. to the top. Yeah. Fuck a thought, what? fuck a thought, what? fuck a thought. What? Chase the guap, uh, chase the guap, uh, I can't stop yeah. My family hurting, gotta pull, let's get it Like a surgeon, cut the bull, no kidding But the snakes, cut them out of my minutes Don't ask me, yeah, I ain't no witness On the mission, suited up like tenant Diamond cross, this rainbow shine through pennants In the mud hole, crawl like a lieutenant 24 hours, so I use every minute Remember my mama turning up in the kitchen Going so hard for me and my siblings Running fast from the trauma we been in Done like Shaq, break the glass, we winning Bad bitches say, hey, could we win it? Yeah, I'm thankful, but no, I ain't giving Counting the cheddar, all the bags I'm flipping All black leather, you had I'm dripping out the Navy four years I was dripping